Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Mijangos. Thank you for tuning into this live stream or, or thank you very much for checking out the replay. So in this particular live stream, it's gonna be the fourth installment of the What is Network Marketing series. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about the three red flags of a pyramid scheme. Now, I have been talking amazing things about network marketing and I truly believe that it's an amazing opportunity for so many people out there. And I know that it's not for everybody, but it's an amazing opportunity for people who see the potential in it. But we have to make sure that we also understand that there are pyramid schemes out there that, of course, scam people out of their hard-earned money. And these pyramid schemes wear the mask and paint themselves as network marketing opportunities, when in reality, they're not. They're pyramid schemes and they're scams. And if you encounter one, you should run the other direction. And so not a lot of people who are involved in network marketing, such as myself, will talk about this topic openly, but I want to inform you guys and I want to educate you guys so that way you can make sure that you understand the differences between the two. So if you see a network marketing opportunity, a legitimate one, you can take it into consideration as an opportunity for yourself. But using these three red flags, if you see a business opportunity that is actually a pyramid scheme based on these flags, three red flags, then I encourage you to run the other direction. So without further ado, let's just get into it. First red flag, of course, is a CEO. And what do I mean by this? It's, I don't understand this because it's so self-explanatory. It should be just common sense, but so many people just completely are oblivious to this. In any business, any company of a business opportunity, if the CEO or the owner of the company doesn't want to publicly acknowledge their ownership or their involvement with the company, that's a huge red flag for me. Why would I personally want to become involved in something that not even the owner wants to publicly acknowledge their uh, contribution or their involvement? That's something for me is huge. And so if, if you ever see something like that, it, will, it should really make you wonder like what is going on? Why is the person putting themselves to be anonymous? To me, that essentially says that they're purposely making themselves anonymous that way, once it actually does crumble, once the pyramid scheme crumbles, they can just go ahead and run the other direction with all the money that they've made from all the people that they scammed, and then nobody will be able to trace them. So this is a huge red flag, make sure to look out for it. And red flag number two is the products. There has to be a product or service. If you checked out my live stream, the past one, where I talked about the comparison between a traditional business, network marketing, and a pyramid scheme, you would have noticed that in a traditional business and network marketing, there has to be value. There has to be value flowing down the triangular structure to the end customers, there has to be money flowing up. In a pyramid scheme, there is no value. What I mean by this is that there's no product or service. It's essentially as if the only, it's not as if, it's legitimately the only way that a, bit, that a pyramid scheme can remain alive is if more people are added to the system and money is is added into the into the structure simply based off recruiting. There is no value, there is no products being sold, there's no services being provided to customers. There's absolutely no value and this is a huge red flag. Make sure to keep your eyes open for this one. And the third red flag, the final one, is of course profits. In a legitimate business, whether it be your own startup or a network marketing opportunity that comes that comes your way, no profits no income can be guaranteed. If someone guarantees that you're gonna be making an X amount of money, that's a huge red flag. And why is that? Because in a business, all the money that you will ever make is based off your own individual efforts, based off your production, based off of the amount of time that you put into the business. If they tell you that you can just do, um, say for example, a few clicks of a button, or if you just sign your name on a line, on a dotted line, and that you'll make thousands of dollars a month, or you'll make millions of dollars a year, no, that is just simply not true. There are many pyramid schemes out there that say that they're gonna provide you with a certain percentage every single day based off of an initial investment once you originally start. And this is simply not true. It makes you wonder, where is this money coming from? If you're not making sales or if the team that you're building is not making sales, then where is that money genuinely coming from? You have to wonder because then that is essentially a pyramid scheme. And eventually, with this structure, eventually the pyramid scheme will crumble, and I hope you are aware of that. So this live stream is gonna be very short because I just wanted to make sure that I, I shared this information with you. So once again, to recap, the three red flags. Number one is the CEO. Make sure that the CEO, you know who it is. Number two is the products. There has to be some kind of value that the company, that the business is providing to customers. And red flag number three is, of course, profits. 
there can be no guaranteed income in a legitimate network marketing opportunity. It's always based off of your own efforts, your own production, and the amount of time that you take to actually learn the business and develop your skills. So, like I said, those are three red flags. I do believe that network marketing is an amazing opportunity, but make sure to be wary and cautious of these red flags so you don't fall into the scams. So, if you haven't checked out my last three live streams, you can go ahead and catch the replays. They're going to still be in my Facebook. So make sure to like it. I'm going to be live streaming in the future because I actually found this to be pretty fun. And so make sure to follow my page, like it, and share this information with other people that you believe can benefit from this, from this information. Because I do believe that there's many network marketing companies out there, but there's even more pyramid schemes that are trying to scam people out of their money. So make sure you prepare yourself, make sure you're in, informed, and stay safe out there. That's all for this live stream. I hope you found this information extremely beneficial. Thank you very much, everyone.